Hello there, everybody. My name is Eve. Welcome back. This is part three of three of all the books I read in the month of May of 2023. And let's just jump into it. Uh, part one and two are in the description. The ninth book I read in May 2023 was Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Clinton. And I read this one because earlier this month, and you know this if you watched my other videos, um, I read, what's it called? The House of the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clinton. And that was a 5 out of 5 star book for me. I loved it. This one was a li this one was also really good. I rate it just of like a 4.8 out of 5. It was a it the house in Sterling Sea was a bit better. It it just was. Um but yeah, basically this guy, he dies. I forgot his name not cuz he was a forgettable character just cuz I'm the worst at names. Um but yeah, he dies. And he, like, has to go to this house. It's, like, a tea shop. And these guys... Ba basically, it's, like, he has to learn to pass on. No spoilers, because, again, it was a really good book. The characters were great. It was well-paced. Um, yeah, it, it was a good book. I That's all I'll say. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. I, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, and by the way, I drew the main, I drew this one scene where the main character ends up in a bikini. I do not remember the color of the bikini, so I just went pink and yellow, but that's from drawing. Just so you know, that I'm not just randomly drawing a bikini and teeth. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, and so after that, I read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and this book was so good. So basically the premise is that this character, Nora, she's like really in a really dark part in her life. She feels like everyone's disappointed in her and her cat just died, you know, that's pretty crummy. Uh, her best friend's in Australia, her quote unquote love of her life. She basically didn't marry him for reasons. Both her parents are dead. It's it's a whole mess. Um her brother hates her, supposedly, and then she ends up committing, which obviously isn't the best situation to be in. Uh, she ends up in this place called the Midnight Library, where she gets to redo any decision she ever made in her life, and see where she would have been starting exactly after that would have happened. And it is so cool. It is such a fun way to explore characters to see like where they would have ended up if you did certain things. Like for me, characters are 90% of storytelling, 95% of storytelling. Characters are everything, basically. And it's so cool to see where Nora would have ended up if she just did one thing differently. Or how different people in her life would have acted towards her if she did X differently. Like, small spoiler, this character Dan, she was like, he's like her ex fiance. Um, you find out that... In every life where they got married, he's abusive and neglectful and a cheater. And every life where she doesn't get married, he's, like, obsessed with her. It's, it's like, you realize, hey, this isn't a good... It's a good guy. Like, it's such an interesting way to tell about the... To, like, explore the characters. And I love it. Again, like, the character... Like, it's just so fun. And, I'll, and I will admit, the ending was a little predictable. I did kind of predict the ending, like... A fourth of the way through the book it but like it was predictable in a good way like predictable in the way like i know this is gonna happen and i'm excited for it to happen like 4.8 out of 5 stars like same rating as the last one only because there was like one thing which i won't exactly point out because it's kind of a spoiler that i didn't love but other than that great book i i so recommend the midnight library i don't want to spoil too much because of it great book actually no, 4.9 out of 5 it was just so good and right after that one, I read When We Were Magic by Sarah Gailey. And this one was also a pretty good book. Uh, like, I just, I guess, read a lot of really good books in a row, I guess. Um, basically, this one girl, and I forgot her name, not because she was a bad character or anything, but because I'm just bad at names. I liked her, though. I think it was Alan, Alex, something like that. It was like a gender neutral name, whatever. Um, and basically she and all her five best friends, uh, Polly, Iris, 
Alexis, I think is one, whatever, <laughs> again, I'm bad at names. Um, they're all magic, and due to some unfortunate circumstances, uh, MC ends up killing a guy using her magic. And basically, they have to run around trying to hide the body and not get caught. And it it was a good, it was a really good book. Um, I love the characters and the friendship dynamic. I loved it. The, they were so fun. I, I, I love, like, strong, like, platonic squad goals and whatever. It was great. Um, there's, you know, some romance, too, in the group. But it it was mainly, like, friendship and whatnot. They, they had great dynamics. I loved them. It was, like, like, really in the summer, it was, like, the one thing that didn't change that night was their unbreakable friendship and stuff. It, it was great. Uh, and I liked how... They were, you know, accurately miffed about, like, killing a guy. Like, a lot of books that I've read slash heard about reading, like, they, don't, they, like, don't understand the whole weight of, you know, killing a person. And they're like, oh, it's fine. We don't have any, like, trauma or whatever from literally exploding a person. Um, so, like, the MC was, like, uh, accurately, like, really traumatized by that, and, yeah, it was great, the friendship was fun, uh, yeah, I rate this one, like, a 4.6, 4.7, so, like, maybe 4.65 out of, uh, 10, out of 5, it was a good book, yeah, When Beer Magic. Right for that, I read the second book in the Percy Jackson series, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, by Rick Riordan, and, uh, it was fine. Uh, so I read the first book, that one was like a 3.2 out of 5. It was a fine book, I don't really have any major complaints, just, you know, but I have some friends who would kill me brutally if I didn't finish the series. So, you know, pick up the second book. Um, this one was better. 3.6 out of 5. Um, I did definitely like it better. I, <laughs> I already said that. Uh, the characters were obviously a, more familiar with each other and stuff. And I did think the adventure in this one was more fun. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's, again, like a million... Percy Jackson Sea of Monster reviews out there, so I don't really know what else I can add. The characters were fine. I don't really have any notable things to say about them. Percy, like most chosen one characters, is boring, though. I'll just say it. He really isn't that fun of a character. But I do like, uh, basically every other character. Chiron's meh, bleh. Uh, but Annabeth's okay. I do like Clarice, though. Uh, Grover and what's his name, Tyson. I drew Tyson here because he was like a main character in this one of Walk of the Adventure, yada yada yada. I do like the like brother relationship between Percy and Tyson. I don't know, really, I don't really know what else to say. Um, don't come for me, Percy Jackson fans, please. It's a fine book series. <laughs> I and I'm already have the third book on hold in my digital library. I'm just not. And this one was also like 0.4 out of 5 stars better than the first book. So the rest will probably get even better. Um, yeah. That's Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, Rick Riordan. And the very last, final book that I read, May 2023, was the, De was the Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. And this one was pretty good. Like, 4 out of 5 stars. Um, basically, again, I suck at names. I don't remember, like, any names in this book. Uh, there's, like, June. Uh, whatever. The main character, she's a witch. She, like, she, she kind of worships it as kind of just a parody religion, but she, she's a witch as a, re as a religion, yada yada. Uh, her BFF dies. <laughs> her only friend dies. And she's like, hey, I'm kind of half a witch. I'm going to try to bring her back. And she brings her back to life. As well as two other girls who died the same week. And they don't remember who killed them. But they all know they were murdered. Kind of. Sort of. 
they, they quote unquote know they were murdered. It's a whole thing. Half spoiler. <laughs> um, again, this one was good. It's a murder mystery, trying to figure out who killed them. Uh, MC can't go more than like a hundred steps away from the undead girls, or they will all turn into animated corpses, like actual corp, like actually corpse-like, and obviously that's not fun. Um. But yeah, it's a fine mystery, uh, they're just trying to get through their last bit of high school, also fulfilling the week they have left. It is, it's fine, it's, you know, found family, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, four, four out of five stars, I like, I do like the Wicca stuff, that was fun. The character bonding is all great, uh. And, yeah, they find out who killed them. Spoiler alert. But I feel like that's kind of obvious, based on the genre and stuff. Uh, yeah, good book. Four out of five stars. The Undead Girl Gang. And, yeah, that is the end of this three-parter of the 13 books I read this month. Or last month. It is, like, the 9th of June by now, because I procrastinated so long in recording voiceover for my speed draws that I... All finished in the month of May, but say la vie. Um, yeah, and I will do this again at the end of June, uh, which will take, which I've already only read two books, though, even though it's literally the 9th of May. Uh, slow reading week. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, here's all the art that I made in this video. If you have any book suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, if you want to scream at me and my opinions, go ahead. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Tell me my voice is annoying and my art is terrible. Or tell me my art is decent and my voice isn't that annoying. I don't care. Have a great day. Bye.